Hello everyone, my name is Ox and welcome back to Silent Hill 2 Remake. This episode we're taking on the Otherworld version of the hospital. So, like I said in the last episode, we took down the Flesh Lips and made our way here. Now we're just going to wander around and figure out uh, what we're supposed to be doing here. Here's the garden area, yeah. You can call it that. It was a little bigger in the original, if I remember correctly. But, uh, let's maybe this is a different one. I don't know. Now let's keep looking around here. Some handgun ammo there. Am I reloaded on that? Load this up. I think I used all my ammo in that Flesh Lips fight, so... Go ahead and continue. Can I peek through here? See what's going on in there? No. I can kind of see, but I believe we don't have a map yet, so I guess we do have a map. Okay. So we're in the day room right now. Head down this way. Oh, can't go that way. Okay. I say before let's see here there's not many places we can go there must be somewhere we're supposed to go through here we tried that door already let's go in this way maybe ah, maybe we can break this no okay worth a try you know you never know All right, let's go back to start. There's nothing in here for us. The whole area is directly beside us, but we can't get in there yet. Um, just, let's just continue looking around, I guess. Maybe there's, you know, anything else to do here. This door does not open. I can't even go down there or anything. There's nothing to even interact with here. Hmm. Nothing to interact with there. This door doesn't open. This doesn't do anything. I guess we can... Where are we on? We're there now. We need the button for that. So let's just go to two. Can't do anything on floor one yet, so... All we can really do is go to the second floor. And we'll need a button for the basement. I think it's the basement. Here's the box, the big box, okay. Let's go back because we have nothing to uh, interact with that yet. I can't push that, okay. Okay, so we'll have to go up there. There's probably something around here. He's dead. Ah. What the shotgun? Ah. 
Shotgun would work a little better for these guys. I'm assuming there won't be much heals through here. That's my guess. No items yet. There we go. We can't push that out of the way, though. Like, what's in the way there? I guess you can try again. Yeah, we can't even push that out of the way or anything. And I can't get up there yet. Without something to get on, so maybe in here there'll be something. Hopefully, <laughs> lots of ammo. You put the handgun, I guess. Get the most ammo there. I'll probably use my ammo on the nurses and then just, you know, fight the mannequins, I guess. That's probably the best way to do it. I can stick my hand in there. I wish I could look through here before I crawl. Maybe it's not worth crawling through. Got a full heal, that's nice. I'll use that when we're uh, in dire need of one. We're kinda, kinda good right now. At least I think. I hate that they do that. They do more than one. Good, I mean, kind of overextend. Like, whenever they start slashing. Whenever they start slashing, they go way forward, and when you dodge backwards, it's just not enough. That's one thing that bugs me. You just don't dodge back far enough from that. I don't know why they would start a long lunge when you're right up on them, but that's kind of lame. And also, whenever you perfect dodge, I don't know if there's, there's probably not a perfect dodge mechanic at all, 
But like whenever you dodge as soon as they start swinging, they just do another swing after that. So your dodge meant literally nothing. I guess you dodged one attack, but you know what I mean. How we danced, arms flailing, our bodies in perfect synchrony, and the music played, but in it he danced. There comes a time where one must take the lead. The music got louder and louder, pouncing, piercing, and then silent. What do we have here? Anything? Can't even move them, so I don't think that's anything we gotta do. Instrument of force. I beat you up. Okay, so I gotta put something in there. Weird. Okay. I'll find something to stick in an eye hole, I guess. I tried to hit this one, but it made me stomp on her instead. Great. Yeah, I figured I was gonna die there. All right, BRB. Okay, guys, I'm back here. Um, I just learned something as well. I tried using this vault location to um, kind of cheese them a little bit, but it turns out you cannot hit the nurses during their vault animation. So using this vault to try to camp it and just hit her while she's vaulting doesn't work because you can't hit her during that. I don't know if I could hit the lying figure during that either. It just didn't let me. I don't know if it didn't let me or what, but yeah, I was just trying to find easier ways to um, take them out by using like environment, but it didn't work. There's, I think there's two mannequins or just one? Cause this one's here. Can I move? Thank you. We'll try it again. I'm gonna try going back to this vault location. Uh, where was it? It was right in here. And we'll try to do the same thing. And we'll see if it uh, as well doesn't let me hit them during it. If he's following me, it doesn't appear like he is. No. What shotgun do I have? Four? Okay, I'll use one on these guys, because... Why not? There you are. What did you get? Is that the same one? Appears so. Alright, well, we'll break this wall now. Maybe. Slip through. I'm a little, a little disappointed in some of the stuff in this game, though. Like basically the the dodge mechanic, I feel like is just like maybe I'm using it incorrectly, but I also feel like it's a little lackluster. Cause it's it's just a dash. It's not really anything. I mean, I don't I don't think there should be a perfect you know perfect dodge thing that happens, but I feel like. If, an, if a character, an enemy, is in a lunge, if you dodge that, you should be rewarded instead of them just doing another attack and, you know, punishing you for dodging. Also, I feel like... Because, you know, like, in most games, whenever you attack something, especially with a... Maybe not with a gun, but maybe, like, with a, you know, a blunt object, when you attack them, they would, you know, feel that, but... If they're like charging up an attack or something and like the lying figures shoot out their, their, their whatever their acid but that's fine if they still do that when they're getting hit but I feel like a little bit of okay I died <laughs> I, was, I was in the middle of something 
<laughs> I just died. Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, this is a checkpoint, by the way. And I'll try to show you the um, the vault animation thing as well. It's a little weird. So we'll go bother this nurse up here and have her follow me back here. So we'll have her follow me in here. I can hit her over it. See you know what I mean? You cannot hit her when she's doing that. So it's it's effectively pointless. She can hit you over it. Can she hit me during it? No, I have iframes too. That's kind of fair. She can hit me during her vault animation though. See what I mean there? It's just kind of inconsistent. Let me try making the icons a little bigger. Maybe that will make it easier to interact with stuff. Uh, let's see. Um, down here some. Maybe it's in gameplay. Icon size. I think it's small. Let's see if that... Uh, that does... <sighs> That's really strange. Um, I guess it kind of makes sense, but it's not told to you that way. Now we just have this mannequin. I'll switch to the shotgun for. Is he back there? Yeah, he is. Can I just shoot him in the foot? Maybe? Oh my god, I'm aiming. I guess this controller, Lamau. He should not have gotten a hit on me. There is two. That's so strange. There was only one the last two times. Now there's two there? That's already odd. I can avoid that corner though. Because he's just under the freaking desk. But yeah, that's like super strange to me. I'll, I'll do that whole hammer thing later, when I come back. Oh my god, they're all three aggro on me. Mannequin shouldn't follow me this far, he didn't before. I guess he does. Sensitivity. That's that's brutal. <laughs> that's brutal. Hold on. Aim sensitivity. No, no, no. Regular. Why is aim sensitivity higher up than? Good. I mean, right there. Is he running away? Like, that annoys me. That annoys me. They have iframes during their vault animations, but they can also hit you during theirs. That's, like, wildly annoying. It should not be both. If I was making this game, I would make them vulnerable during their vault animation, but they can also hit you. Or neither. Or they are invulnerable and they can't hit you. You know what I mean? Like, either one. Let's let's test something. If I turn my light off, he still aggro's. He doesn't come after me. Hey, you're still here. I'm gonna ignore that. I don't think I can though. Okay. That's nice. 
I got my handgun. I only have one handgun bullet, that's nice. Should be able to walk through here now. Yeah, a lot of the combat in this game just doesn't make sense to me. No, don't do that. Okay, I was trying to look behind me. And it just made me go through. There's a mannequin in here, though. Or is it down? I think it's down. Yeah. Alright, light off when we go down. I mean, like, that's just gonna kill me again, though. If it hits me, it's it's game over. I just die. Let's just walk. There's a line to get there. Yeah, it's right there. It's gonna hit me again if I go in there. But we'll just leave it. So we're looking for something that would go in an eye hole, I believe. Yeah, you're there. Does she know about me, though, or can I just sneak around? It's probably... Yep. I can loop her in here. There we go. We're good. I'll be far enough away from her. Hopefully, she literally just screws off. Oh my god. I don't know if it's just me. What if like, the combat in this game was not meant for the game to throw multiple enemies at you? That's point blank shooter. I stomped on you. Please get back on the floor. Please don't get back up. Why she reanimate like that? Okay, there's ammo over there, I think. I just need to avoid this guy here. The light's off. Come on. We shouldn't need our light in here. My light's off. Oh. Buddy. I think you just ate a shotgun shot and you like didn't stop what you were doing. Right at your legs. Didn't care. <laughs> okay. What do we have here? He a bliss. Yeah, that's gonna go in your eye. Lobotomy. <laughs> Total lobotomy. I leave now. Am I out of here? 
Alright, ladder. You're not okay. Okay, yeah, you're in there. We're close. Close by where we came from. Headshot, headshot, headshot. Body shot, body shot. Miss, body shot, headshot. You're dead. Okay. So we're close to our ladder area. Okay, it's over there. No, no health. That's my first playthrough and everything. I'm not expecting to be amazing at this game. But those are just some of the things I'm noticing with the combat straight away. Some of my gripes. Maybe I'm completely trash. I'm horrible at this game, and you can tell me. But I'm comparing it to different games. Because it kind of has like the RE3 remake dodge mechanic. But it has more of like RE4 remake combat kind of thing. I'm kind of mixing it up between those two games and comparing it like that. Maybe that's an unjust, unfair comparison, but... You know. Bonk! Time for your lobotomy. Lapis eye key. Okay. I have this. There we go. Alright. Downstairs. Part right, 1506 of the second part. I don't know how long this is gonna be. I'm going to save immediately before I die. I don't have so many saves. I think it's because I push down and um, select at the same time. And it doesn't do my down and it makes me make a new file. Before I light off, I don't need it through here. I still can't get in there. Can I? Okay. I'm about to say, can I do it now? That'd be so annoying. But I can't. See, this door is probably not in commission. No, it's not. Okay, there's this cart. I don't even know where I'm at right now, to be honest. I turned my light off. Stealth time. This is my strat, strobe light. It annoys you, I'm sorry. Drinky. Use it immediately. Okay, there shouldn't be any mannequins in here. Just keep my uh, light off. I did see one that was walking past. It went that way, so I think I'm fine. Those footsteps are just noises. Light off. I was not expecting that. Should I have done that? No, I should not have done that. I'll stomp on you. Headshot. I missed. I hit the one behind you, though. Headshot. Headshot. Do they have crit spots? I don't know, maybe- hopefully they have crit spots. That would make no sense if they didn't have any crit spots. 
That's unlocked. What was the point of doing that clock though? I have no idea. And now, no, we're not gonna do that. And that's where I came from. Down? Down, thank you. <laughs> Down. Okay. I don't know what that clock did. No, no drinkies. And I can't move that cart and move it over there. Or can we? There's no handle, so I doubt it. Nah. Maybe there's more in there I've missed. Oh, okay, there it is. Why is it flashing on me? Just nothing important, I guess. Peeking with our light. Going light off. Watch it go dark. I've been, I, before I even went through here, I was looking at it. One year they've been watching me, so many pills they feed me. When I, when I, when a loud hour comes, I tremble every night, every time the light falls. I did that already. I don't even know what I was doing, but I did it. Maybe I do it again. Oh, is there, is there more clocks around here? All the enemies are dead, so. Is that that one mannequin? He's around here somewhere. I haven't seen him. We killed two nurses and a lying figure. Oh, that's my bad. That's dead, boy. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Now we can freely look around. With no uh, threat. Unless there's in more mannequins, which I would not like at all. Those are the most annoying ones. I would say mannequins are most annoying, then second most annoying is the nurses. Lying figures are not that bad. Sometimes they can get on my nerves though with their stupid little headbutt. There has to be more clocks around here somewhere then. I only did one and it's flashing now? I wasn't doing that before. I don't know though. I already did that. You know, I'm gonna try something. No. Yeah. <laughs> it made no sense to do that, but... I can't do anything with this anymore. Ah! Okay, I was gonna follow that chain, but it doesn't go anywhere. That was my only hope.
It goes in here, but I've already been in here. Hmm. I don't want this episode to be so long. It's already been 23 minutes again. <laughs> There's gotta be something around here. This is a lie. This is a big lie. Isn't the chain? We follow. Goes nowhere. Nice. Is there a clock on it? It goes into this wall. Does this even mean something? Let's see, uh, we can get to the other side of that wall. No, we can't. Maybe we can. No, we can't. What the heck, bruh? That gasp was the ambiance too. The footsteps and the gasps are all ambiance noises that are supposed to spook me. What is this? Bro. Okay, I don't want to spend this whole episode wandering around, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, I had to look this up because this is stupid. I was wandering around here. Doing all that, and I had already solved the puzzle. But it's literally, you type 1622 into this for the first digit on the note being one, the six pills in the sinks, the six pills in the sink, and the thing flickering twice. So, I think it's this one. No, is it the other one? Maybe this one's 1622. But then, uh, that was it, and I was literally wandering around, following the chains, looking for more clocks to do it, but nope. Nope, that was it. Yeah, I just made another save file, just like, just like that. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Alright, so, now where do we go? Um... We did that side. Let's check our memos. We got the lapis eye key, so we can put that in here. Yeah, we did that one. And now the last one, we gotta follow this one, right? Yeah, how do I get in there? That's what I need to know. Let's figure this out together, shall we? I cannot get rid of this, no matter how hard I try. And we need... Did we crawl? Did we crawl anywhere? You know, we have to knock that over somehow, or push it, or something. There's gotta be something though. Let's look on map. Okay, so we're trying to get into L2. That's L2. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's L2, right? Let's go over there, and make sure. Now we're trying to get into L3. And C5 is locked. We don't have the key for that. L2 or L3, we're trying to get into. More so this one because the chain goes that way. I think we need to get into there to get a cart to push. But this is locked. Um, I guess we can try to go... Another dead wall. We've been this way. Director's office. Do we have something for that? That door is circled. No items. Oh, here's a hole we can break. 
Glasses are being weird. Where does this take us? Is that, free? that was weird. help you right there no it's okay we just saved we're good we'll get better at this guys <laughs> don't worry don't worry we will get better hey load please load there we go nope i don't want to save it's buffering my inputs <laughs> okay uh we'll put the lapis key in last might as well Makes we die again. I don't want to have to keep doing that. I'm also going to sneeze, so hold on. I did it. <laughs> Hopefully it's only one. And not multiple. <laughs> oh, it's two. Hold on. Maybe, 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 maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna crawl past the energy already do it. <coughs> yep, loading, okay. Watch it down. Crapped on. There you go. She's dead AF now. Okay. All right. Don't play with me. Give me this health drink. Oh. Drink. Yes. Okay. Now we can move this. Because for some reason I couldn't just push it forward. I totally, in no way, could have just pushed this forward and walked through. Actually, let's check this room out some more. Make sure we're not missing anything. Nothing over here. We didn't go in this corner yet. Hopefully there's no mannequins. Turn my light off. Oh, wait, that's where we came from. Lol, okay. Anything in these? Nope. Alright, we're done. Let's, we're done checking. Let's get to move on. I gotta finish this episode soon. It's gonna be 20 hours long. Just kidding, it's not. No one would watch that if it was 20 hours long. I hate pushing these. I'm using the D-pad. Oh, I can't. No! Oh, please. Yes. I hate pushing those. These are so annoying. Alright, time for more death. I should save. <coughs> Nah, we're too good at the game for that. I'm mashing so hard. Stop doing that, bro. Yeah, I love this. Like I said before, I just do not think this, this game's combat was meant to, to throw a bunch of enemies at you. Really, they're not following me anymore, right? He went into that locked door. That mannequin went into the door that's locked. Nothing for me. Save. 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 Back out. Thank you.
No, this one. And now we're gonna go into the office. And I'm assuming get our four digit code for that thing. Ascend to the heavens. There'll be no pain anymore. You know, somehow I doubt that. This is a three. So three. Any more numbers? Four digits. So we have a three already. So three starts with three. You gotta remember that. All right, let's ascend. My short dismay. I'm gonna die up here. Oh, okay. Let him fry. Yeah, well, how are we doing on that? Okay, full magazine. I found 50 in the ECT room again. This time I checked... This time I checked he was not appointed for treatment. How is it possible he got here all by himself? And how would he know to turn on the thing? Who's going to answer for this? He likes it. He likes the shockies. <laughs> Light off. Oh, on this. Great, more shit. Okay. Light on. We're gonna run. We're gonna run through this. Looking for numbers. The numbers. What do they mean? Numbers, Mason. Go oh, back here. This is a safe space. No one can hurt me in here. To make this combat shittier is if um, weapons broke. Combat's not even that bad. It's just like it feels clunky. I mean, it feels like I don't know, weird when there's multiple things to fight. I'm gonna have to get used to with the, the with the combat on here. Okay, red cord. Follow the red cord. I'm assuming it goes in here. Generator. Well, crawl space. Cozy. It won't. I won't rest until they are solved. I won't rest. I can't. I don't know how anymore. Director's note. Yeah, but the director needs one of these padded rooms. So we got the red cord. Is the red one... Are there different colors, or... Is it all red and we just need to figure out? Oh, it's only one cord. Three, nine, six, five, nine, six, five, three. I thought it would be that three down there. Nine, six, five, three. Nine, six, five, three. Okay. 
Down I go. That was easy. That was easier than the other ones. When I'm still almost dead. But... Oh, it's open now. Don't kill me. If you kill me, I'll be so mad. James, what are you doing, bro? That's what you get. I'm gonna save and go back in there. That was locked before. Alright. Three, nine, six, five? Okay, hold on. Map time. Nope, I wanted to go up. Nine, six, five, nine. That's not a three. Now, ordinarily, we would get the hair. But now, what are we gonna get? <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Did all that for nothing. Elevator button is negative one. Okay, it's auto saving, but I'm gonna go save myself. I don't trust auto saves. We don't trust auto saves. I never trust auto saves. I don't know, they just scare me. It's like trust you to save for me. No! I can't go over there! <laughs> no! I'll never know I was in that room now! She is an angel. No one knows, only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall down from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins, she devours them. In sin and sinner alike, she saves me. She is an angel. Okay, so we're gonna get the rings now. God, I hope this isn't much longer. I don't want this. Oh, hey, it's this thing. Welcome to another exciting edition of Trick or Treat, where you answer our questions correctly and win a prize beyond your wildest dreams. Or you fail to answer correctly and receive the punishment. It's all in the hands of our lucky contestant, James Sunderland. Put the mic James, down. Are you ready to play trick? I need or to. Treat? Excellent. Here's your first question. In the early 1800s, a terrible disease spread across Silent Hill. Resulting I don't in the know death that of one. many of its inhabitants. <laughs> their bodies thrown into the lake to sleep forever in their watery grave. Okay. How many souls were lost during the plague? One, forty-two, two, sixty-seven, three, eighty-five. Know the answer? Well, you better hold on to it. The you never plague. know when it might come in handy. Now, yes. on to the second question. The number one question. Follow Sanders Street heading east and further on to the outskirts of town. 
one and only one road will take you towards the lumber yard and the cemetery. What is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. That was two, Munson Street. Lumberyard Road. Wiltsy Road. Did you get that? I sure as hell hope so. And for a third and final question. Silent Hill witnessed a gruesome murder a few years back. A brother and sister were playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped in the pieces with an axe. Torn flesh, smashed bones, splattered blood. What a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such innocent lives. One of the victims was a local boy named Billy Lokay. But... What was the name of the other victim? Billy's sister. One, Miriam. Two, Heather. Three, Julia. Well, that's the last of our questions. Okay, I got the questions written down. So, figure that out before we get to that part. The time will soon come to collect your prizes. But be careful. Wrong. You die. Well, looks oh, like man. that's all the time we have. <laughs> that's I was right there. You die. Thanks for tuning in. See you somewhere, sometime, in sickness or in health. Bye bye. What the hell was that? And I'm really on the brink of death right now. <laughs> and I have nothing to heal myself with. Oh, yeah. I am on crit. As crit as you can get. Please tell me there's like. Come on, man. Cut me a break here. I don't want to go that way. Hang on, it is. I don't have to turn that on. Okay, I just tried. That's not what we're looking for. What's this? Okay. We know this. This is familiar. This is not familiar. A pit in the ground. Oh, you thought. I should not have used all my ammo on that, but I was kind of freaked. Thought I was about to die. I'm still about to die. Anything could just punch me at once. I would topple over. Oh my god, there's a health ring. Play with me. Dash, dash forward. I would, I would have done anything for this. <laughs> oh my god. I'm still on the brink of death. That's how, that's how freaking dead I was. That didn't even help me. Down here. There's a nurse there. Let's see if we can't avoid her. Walking that way, so we might be able to. And she's on to me. Alright. Don't need this. We're out of here. You. What's in here? Light off. Copper ring. James. Mary. Oh. Maria, I thought. I don't rescue you from a Sorry. dungeon? 
Anyway, I'm you just find us. That's kind of weird. Anyway, what do you mean anyway? I was almost killed back there. I have never been so scared in my whole life. I'm All not you it. care about is that dead wife of yours. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just. Have them stay with me. Not Don't the same. It's again. not the same. No. You're supposed to take care of me. I should shut up during the cutscene. I. So what about Laura? You found her? Yeah, but she ran away. What? Well, we have to find her. Yeah, you, uh... You really seem to care about that girl. Do you know her? I... I'd never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone and... I don't know, for some reason I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Come on, let's go look for her. I'm dying here. <laughs> yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I just don't feel that that was delivered the same way. I've probably watched that cutscene like 60 times. This is one of my favorites. Anyway, what do you mean anyway? Just the way the way that Maria says that in their original game is just priceless. I'll never get over it. It's so good. But this one, ah oh man, you just like swing and missed on me. Can she help me over? I don't think she can help me over. That's kind of mean, though. All right, let's continue. As as continue as we can. Leave this area. We go up now. We got what we needed down there, so maybe there's something else up here. Oh, uh, drinky. Syringe? <gasps> A syringe, oh my god. Let's go. We're full health again. Ready to take on anything. This is a cutscene. What the hell is that? No, it's not. Well, what do you know? The stroll in the rain. How romantic. No, it's not. Maria. What are you talking about? I'm trying to keep things light, James. Just you and me. Yeah. Sorry. Nothing in the pool, it's more like a pit. I thought that was my impending doom. They're gonna kill me. Hey, oh my god, it's the fridge! Oh, I know, I interrupted that. Sorry. Having trouble there? Yeah. You think you could give me a hand? Me? You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? <laughs> Fine. Cute, is it? Here, why don't you take it? Thanks. Lead ring. So, where to now? Come on. I think I know where those rings belong. 
Oh, yes, I do. We're going there right now. Blind. I like blinding her. I don't know, it's funny. Ah, take this. I did not mean to do that. What did I just do? No! What did I do? I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I don't even know what I did. Where where, where are we going? Probably one, right? Are we on two? Are we on two? Yeah, that's good. We're on two. Oh no, I need on the other side of that. No, I don't. We're here. What is that? James? What's wrong? Let's just get out of here, okay? That one goes there. That one goes there. Sweet. I run. One fair life. Or he's about to die. What's wrong? I thought you wanted to get out of here. I know. It's just... Something doesn't feel right. This is the corridor. Come on. It looks eerily similar to the original one. I feel like she's gonna get murked. <laughs> is it a cutscene or is it we play? That's what I'm wondering. If it's a cutscene, that'd be annoying. But I also wouldn't mind because I sucked at this part. <laughs> on the harder difficulties, I sucked on this part. You should turn around and shoot him, we can just run. Oh, no. Yeah. We got this. Unless this isn't it, and I'm just like, totally. It is done, okay. Am I totally wrong here? I think I am. I think I'm totally wrong. I think I'm totally wrong. I think I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Oh my god, this video's gonna be so long. I'm so sorry. That's a long, that's a long staircase down. Can we BLJ up? No, we can't. Uh, wait, is this, this is the corridor. This is it. Just dead AF. We can save her. Head's coming. Run! Oh, a little epic camera angle action. How close was he? Man, he's slow AF. He got stubby little legs. You know, shortcuts work too. Fuck my jog. There! An elevator! Come on, hurry!
Oh, you know what I just realized? I think I missed that, like, uh, question box. I think I missed it. You save someone? Wanna save? Oh, wait. In the original, you find something. Like a note. Somewhere. And then you see Laura out the window, I think. Here we go. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him, he looks... He looks dead inside, that's for sure. He's not happy. Oh, here we go! Here's the window, here's the note. We're gonna go with the wrench on the ground or something? Alright, let's investigate. Hospital entrance key. I didn't read this. Potential for this illness exists in all people and under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven like him to the other side. The other side perhaps might may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is, it is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. It cannot agree with them. I cannot agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher, not even a psychiatrist. Unlike the director. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. Is it true that to us his imaginings are nothing but inventions of a busy mind? But to him, there are there are simply no there simply is no other reality. Furthermore, he is happy there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Oh, well, that's deep. Well, let save again. Uh, we'll continue. Possible entrance key. Alright, well, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, where we... Presumably go dig up something and use a wrench. That's I'm gonna basically not the original, so I don't know. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.